you're considering buying a new construction home and one question that keeps going over in your mind is, do I really need a realtor to represent me? And I'm here to tell you 100% affirmative, yes. Absolutely, yes. I'm Melissa Shaw, Lewis Realtors, and I started my career over 20 years ago, and I started out in new construction, and I've gone in and out of new construction over the 20 years. And what I've learned is as a buyer buying a new construction home, 100% true that you need representation. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the reasons why. Why you need a realtor? Number one reason I feel is representation. You need an advocate. You need someone looking out for you, your best interests. When you're working with a builder and you don't have representation, you're working with the seller's agent or the builder directly, and they are not looking out for you. The seller's agent is paid and hired by the builder. They're looking out for the builder's best interest. So if you want someone looking out for you, I want someone looking out for you, then I highly recommend you seek an expert buyer's agent in new construction. A new construction realtor is going to save you time and effort the reason being is that they know what to, what questions to ask and what to look out for. For example, when I have a client come to me and they say, hey, I saw this subdivision. I don't even know where to start. And so I know exactly where to pick up and take off. I'm finding out the plat map. I'm finding out what lots are available. I'm finding out what plans are available and what plans fit on specific lots, right? I'm asking about timelines, if homes have been permitted, is there time for structural changes to the plan, estimated completion dates, there's a lot to know. So a realtor can definitely be saving you some time and effort when you're looking for a home to make sure that you're looking for a home that fits you and your family's needs. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, negotiations. Builders do not like to decrease sales prices. The reason being is because if they're in a community, it devalues and hurts them going forward with um, new home sales. However, listen up, they do or will offer incentives. So it could be a lender incentive, it could be an upgrades incentive, but they don't always advertise them. So having a realtor in your corner is just imperative because as an experienced agent myself in new construction, I will go in there and ask, hey, what upgrades are available? What, will they, what are they willing to contribute? Or you just flat out ask. So negotiations and having representation for you, yourself, you could be hurting yourself and not getting some of those little unexpected extras. A common question I get when working with clients in new home construction is, do I really need a home inspection? And the answer is yes, a 100% yes. There, it, it, It's a great idea for several reasons. One, it serves as a checklist for the home builder. Basically, you're able to give that checklist to the the builder at your orientation and they're able to go through and it kind of checks as a punch list item for you for things that you may have missed when you've done your walkthrough um, on your new home. Another key area why it's so important for home inspections and I can give you an example of this. I had a client one time we did a sewer inspection just to make sure the sewer line you you really you know would necessarily think yeah there should be nothing wrong but there was. There was evidence that potentially a dump truck or something had run over, maybe wet cement, and the sewer line was crushed. And so I'm always going to rec recommend you to have your inspections in new construction, even though it's brand new. Another reason to seek buyer representation in new construction from a realtor is because of complex contracts. Builder contracts, there can be very specific to that builder. 
They're not your standard boilerplate contracts typically, and they can be complex to understand. There can be lots of outs in there for the builder. There can be lots of terminology. There's also typically release of earnest money for a buyer. There could also be an exercising of the right to extend closing dates. And so there's a lot of moving parts and it's been my experience both personally and professionally with my clients, that you do need someone in your corner to be reading these contracts. And in some instances, it may even pay to have an attorney look at it to fully understand because they can be quite lengthy, quite complex, and you definitely need someone looking at these contracts with you. To take a deeper dive in new construction advice from an expert realtor, head on over to my blog, or book a one-to-one -one consultation from my website.